When is the second new Amazon Prime Day of 2022? And what can you expect from the brand new event? These are the top 10 things you need to know. In the first spot, this new Holiday Prime Day will be on October 11th and 12th. This two-day event Amazon calls the Prime Early Access Sale will bring substantial savings just in time for Christmas if you know how to shop the sale correctly, which I will explain throughout this video. One of the big questions I get is at what time will Amazon release its best deals? 9 a.m. to noon Eastern when everyone on the East Coast heads to work, and then again lunchtime for the East Coast when other parts of the country, including the West Coast, are getting in front of their computers for the first time is the best time to see the most substantial savings. This October, Amazon will introduce a brand new Prime Day page, which brings me to point two. Amazon will reveal its first ever top 100 deal list, which will include trending deals from many of the major brands. And that brings me to this next question many of you have asked, what brands can we expect to see discounted? Since this is a holiday event, you'll see everything from big screen TVs, which I'll discuss in a moment, to huge savings on big kitchen names like Ninja and KitchenAid, to tech deals like laptops and select items from Apple and Samsung, plus significant discounts on select toys. And as you can expect on both days of the sale, I'll be right here to showcase the top offerings. Point three, with the economy failing and crazy high inflation right now, your immediate thought may be, why in the world is Amazon launching a Prime Day hoping you'll buy more stuff right now? The answer, it's been a tough year and retailers have a lot of leftover inventory. They need to liquidate. And while this video is in no way to encourage you to go out and spend all of your money to line Amazon's pockets, if you are allocating a holiday budget for gifts this year, the new sale from Amazon gives you the opportunity to split your holiday spending over two months instead of just the usual Black Friday time frame. Point four, what not to buy. To further ensure you get the most bang for your buck over the sales period, I recommend avoiding the high-end TVs, the highest end of the laptops and gaming consoles, all of which will have significantly better prices on Black Friday. And the same advice applies for the big ticket Apple products like the new iPhone 14 and the higher end MacBook Pros, although you'll see some nice reductions on AirPods, AirTags, and MacBook Airs for Prime Day. Christmas trees as a whole, are another bad purchase to make on Prime Day, as well as gift cards which are better purchased on Cyber Monday and the days that precede Christmas. Now on to another very popular question, point five, should you buy your TV on this new Prime Day or wait for Black Friday? Amazon is promising up to 80% off select Fire TVs and Smart TVs. My advice is if you want a brand new entry level or mid level TV, and in particular, you want one that works with your Amazon Alexa enabled devices, this October Prime Day will be as good as Black Friday and even feature a handful of deals you would never see on Black Friday because Amazon wants to justify the existence of this new Prime Day by impressing you at least in the television category. Alternatively, if you want a higher end top of the line TV from this or last year's model at a clearance price, I would definitely wait for Black Friday. And if you're wondering about toys, I'll handle this topic later on in the video. Point six, some useful shopping hacks to beat Amazon at its own game. Amazon does not have a price match guarantee, but that does not mean you need to worry about a better price come Black Friday. Based on the timing of this new Prime Day, any Prime item has a 30-day return policy attached to it. And this 30-day return window following this Prime Day event in October brings us to just one week before Black Friday. By that point, all of the ad scans are released and you'll know if something you bought will in fact be at a lower price from another retailer giving you ample time to return a purchase and get your money back before Black Friday. Another great resource for Prime Day is a third-party website called CamelCamelCamel.com and if you haven't heard of it, this website gives you the price history for any purchase on Amazon, exposing whether a so-called Prime Day discount is actually a deal. I should mention not a single part of this video is sponsored, nor is Amazon paying me to make this video. Another great trick 
is the day before Prime Day, simply add any item you're contemplating purchasing to your shopping cart and click save for later. So you have these potential purchases ready to buy in the event they drop in price. An alternative way to do this is simply set up an Amazon wish list and add all the products you're looking to buy to that list. And that way, the morning of Prime Day, you can wake up and quickly realize if an item you actually want has been reduced. Point seven, another new aspect to Prime Day 2.0 this year is Amazon launching a coupon section on the Prime Day main page. In the past, Amazon's coupons are sometimes hidden and those clippable coupons are often difficult to click. That changes with this Prime Day and this new dedicated coupon page. This is your reminder that you can stack any of those coupons with an applicable Prime Day purchase. Point eight, this Prime Day is restricted to Amazon Prime members only, but if you don't have a Prime membership, you can join Prime for just the day and then cancel afterwards if you so choose. I've posted a link below so you can sign up for a free 30-day Prime membership trial and if you're kind enough to use my link, I may benefit monetarily. Another thing many people do not realize is there are special discounts if you are already a Prime member and you receive government assistance or you happen to be a student, which I will link to below. And now, with your Amazon Prime membership, there's the added benefit of scoring a free Grubhub Plus membership. So for whatever amount of time you are a Prime member, you can enjoy zero delivery fees on any food order over $12. Point nine, you can find great Prime Day discounts outside of Amazon.com. During Prime Day, what some people do not realize is that if you live near any Amazon-owned stores like Whole Foods, or Amazon's fresh grocery stores. Those physical stores present additional huge deals to greet shoppers that run in conjunction with Prime Day, including $1 grocery deals and BOGO offers. Point 10 is tied to another often overlooked section of Amazon's website that can present substantial value during these difficult times. And that's this Amazon warehouse section. On Prime Days, Amazon activates additional heavy discounts within this section of their website, which include all sorts of big ticket items like Robovax and AirPods. As an example, on Prime Day this past July, Amazon offered an additional 20% off reduction on these refurbished items, which often almost appear brand new right out of the box. And now for the bonus section. Did you know that Amazon has also launched an early Prime Day sale. And in my opinion, this pre-Prime Day sale is mediocre at best. You'll find some average deals on Amazon-made products, some slightly better discounts on no-name computer accessories. There are also many tech, home gadgets, and other accessories from decent brands that you would regularly find on Amazon, and I believe Amazon is saving its absolute best deals for the official start of Prime Day, and I would hold off if you can. And finally, everyone's been wondering about toys. Toys are actually best purchased in the weeks that follow Black Friday as we inch much closer to Christmas. But if you're hoping to secure stock, you might be interested in Amazon's new curated toy list, which I've linked to below in the event you are curious to see what's on sale. I actually can't believe I'm here again this year talking about an additional Prime Day, but I'll have the best deals right here, October 11th and 12th. I love you. Bye-bye.